did just get in out of the rain. Today is going to be good. It's a 2-4. Uh, Trinity Thrift is the first one. I found some great vintage jewelry to collect and resell. That is what I do first and foremost. I'm a vintage jewelry expert and I look for vintage jewelry mostly to collect and to resell. I also found some vintage purses that are fantastic, some vintage scarves that are fantastic. And then also in this video, we're going to go to Michelle's, right? Michelle is the vintage jewelry designer. Um, big vintage, well, she was back in the day, she was a jewelry designer and I went to her estate sale and I got some great vintage jewelry that was in her source closet and in her sort of studio for decades. So I went and got that. Now I'm going back to her place and we're going to check out her collection and I got some great things there too. So stay with me today. The first one is the thrift store, uh, then it's Michelle's place and then it's the car hall at the end. The rainy day, so hopefully it won't be too crowded. This is my last minute thrift hunt to get this video together. I am at Trinity Thrift. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> this is silk. Oh my god, it's a lily. It's a really cute one, too. We're gonna get that. Hurrah! How much is this? It is three dollars. Okay, I like scoring in the first five seconds. I think it bodes well. What else is in here? That's a cute hat. This is adorable. Look at this little handle. No, we don't need that. It's really cute though. Straw hat with violets or pansies painted. It's interesting. Oh, I love these. Okay, I am so ooh, these are fantastic. Um, bamboo handle. Look at this. Oh, not for sale. Yeah, it's too nice. See, not for sale. What's this over here? All right, I wanted to get to the jewelry. Oh, flip flops. Okay, okay. And then this is nothing. All right, I'm gonna get a cart. I like this though. No, it's just, they use those for props here. They put very good stuff up here. So I always try and remember. Oh, this is really great. $10 dresser tray. This is vintage. It's in really good condition. Look at the birds. I'm going to put this in my cart too. She is cool. They have an Asian theme. Very cool. Put, put that in. Put that in. Okay. Oh, look at all the scarves. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I just love this hat. I think they, it's, it's so funny. Like, if you see one scarves, you're going to see more. This one's also three. I just love this. It's probably like a newer chain store thing, but I love it and I'm going to get it. And what else? Oh, some more. That's interesting. Very bohemian. That's like a raw silk. This is nice. This is an old silk. What does it say? It's probably Ralph Lauren. Oh no, Outback. Outback Red. Okay. That's pretty. Someone had a good aesthetic going. This is nice. One all little sparkles. Oh, there's the color that I want you to see. It actually goes hot pink. That's cool. Oh, I like that. What's this? Oh, hello. What are you? Gorgeous. Screw on. Okay, what does it say? What does that say? Something saddle. Okay, that's a yes, because that looks like native. That's fantastic. 
see what else is here. Oh, this is reversible. That looks designer. Made in China. It's reversible blue to black. See, this is um a hinge. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Yeah, see the hinge? All right. Really want to get to the jewelry. <laughs> this is not what I had in mind. I wanted to get there first. And of course, I'm distracted. Oh, that's beautiful too. Okay. Let's get my basket. I like that there's no one here. That's exciting to me. Oh, hello, sleeping babies. Oh my, look at the sleeping. Oh my gosh. I know so. Look, they're in little bits of lace. I know so many people that would want these. I'm going to get those. Okay, there's a lot here. I'm seeing this right away. This looks like it could be very good. We will check that for education purposes. You know, you grab and then you look. There's a starfish on leather. There's something tiny here. You see it? There, okay. Just a, just a chain. More tiny. Oh, that's sweet. It's not very good quality. See the back? It's not, it's not really something. This is beautiful. That's glass. Look at that. This is one of those kind of regular things that you see, but see if I can get to the back of this one. Okay, it's very cheap actually. So I'll keep moving. Good to check though. That's a multi strand, nothing special. Mm. That's not jewelry, that's something utility. Oh, this is cool. Don't like it enough to buy it. I want things to be like wearable. This is artful. Look at that. That's all knitted. There's the clasp. That's, that's cool, but not pretty enough. This is nice. These are real pearls. We'll get those. Beautiful color on those. They're stretchy, but they're real, so they're very useful. And this one. No, nothing. Plastic. Nothing. What is this? No, that's very magnetic to the hematite. So, black glass. This has, this one has possibility. Look at this. This is beautiful. Okay. Oh, is this another pearl? No, these are faux. So we'll, we'll have a look at this one too with the loop. Put that there. Let's see if there's anything here. Mm -hmm. Very cheap plastic uh, threading on these. Okay, so those are nose. Move this over. This looks like sterling, but doesn't feel like it, but we will check them. These are not sterling class, nothing special. These are nice. These I think are very nice. We'll check those. Look at this. These are some big hoops. Those are some big, big, big hoops. Just going through a little, little glass. Nothing special, just like India glass. They made a lot of. Interesting. 
This is cut leather. I was very in for a while. Those are vintage, but not particularly pretty. Oh, I see something. I think I see a Joan Rivers over there. So I'm just going to put these in for later. This. Oh, no, it's not. It's like super light plastic. I like the blue one. You like the blue one? That's crystal. Let's see what this says. Chico's. I think it's more of a common one. I don't think uh, I don't think I should get it. I, it is beautiful though. Let me know if I was wrong about that. Oh, hello. Look at you. Oh, you're fabulous. You are very fabulous. 1980s. We are going to get you. I don't have to think twice about that. This is pretty glass, but more modern. See that blackened lobster claw? Oh. See, this is super cheap. It's also also pearl, all really light. This is shell. Very pretty for summer. Hmm, I like this. This has possibility. I've not seen anything like this. This might be someone's project that they put together out of elements that they had. No, it's not. It's just not drawing me enough. It's like, I, I need that initial thing. Like, oh, I would wear that, you know. This is pretty. This I would wear. I love this. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what else is here. That's nothing special. I haven't even looked in the case yet. Like, I have to. Oh. How did I miss... It's not stone. There's like a whole half here. That oh, it's because someone was standing next to me. That's why. I'm like, how did I do that? That's oh, this is pretty. Look at this lariat. It's a it's a lariat that I'm pretty sure this adjusts. Let's see if this slides. Yes, it does. So you can make this as tight or as long as you want. That's fun, and we will get that. Okay. What else is here? I like the colors on this. This is actually not as nice as it looks. It's so like plasticky feeling. This looks like it could be, it's a bit long to be RLM, but it looks like no, it's not. Okay. This is a beautiful layering piece. See how subtle this is? Oh, these are stones. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is cool. What does it say? What does it say? Chico's, of course. Those are stones. It's, oh my God, these go together. Oh, these are fabulous. This is a, this, this, we are going to keep these together. They started out together. We're going to keep them together. Look how fabulous. Look at those colors. These are yummy. Okay. And now this, just wood. Nothing special. This is, these are pretty beads. But what is this pretty purple leather? No. Okay, now we're back to where we were. I do like this. Do I like this? It doesn't feel good. See how cloudy that is? This, this is a copy of other ones that are better. Okay, let's look down here. Okay, so far I'm pretty happy. I got a lot of jewelry, I got a scarf, I got a tray, so this visit's making sense. And I also went to the jewelry designer's house where she keeps her collections. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up. The purple's nice. Any good pins? Mm, let's see in anything. Okay, so now we're down here at the bottom of the case. There's a whole bunch of Alex and Annie right here, which is not my thing. 
this they've had before this it looks like it could be good but i recognize it i know that it's not that special that's actually a scarf in that bag none of these vintage pins look all that great have a look not seeing anything let's there's a silver chain right there just a silver chain and those those oh that's a sweater clip i thought it was earrings see that right there it's a sweater clip the bird is nice i like this see this high domed thing that could be good we're gonna look at that um the monet watch is interesting so we're gonna look at this that's number one oh we're gonna look at these bracelets we're gonna look at those now let me just do it quick there's some pendants some watches it's the bracelets this is a good day to come for bracelets can i see these bracelets thank you oh boy made in india okay five dollars so that's not silver it's pretty but it's just white metal what is this no i love this it's stretchy but it's so nice look at how the crystals are all inside these like honeycombs i wonder if there's a mark oh look it's so worn on the other side okay never mind and then this also stretch no yeah, right? <laughs> these are like vintage one a but i don't like them enough so that's all a no-go put that back oh is someone getting that silver purse already can i see that oh that's i love this color uh, who made this it says 75 Oh, Gianni Bernini. That's oh, what's that? Oh, this one. I just this is Floto from Italy. Do you know what the? I just looked these bags up. You know what they sell for? Two fifty. Wow. And we put fifty on it, so you're saving two hundred. <laughs> oh, let me see that. I think this is gorgeous. It's very nice. I mean, this is very nice grade of leather. Okay, you can put those back. Okay. Yeah. Um. Wow, I wish it was just a little less Floto. Oh, maybe I'll look. Oh, look, it's so perfect on the inside. This is gorgeous. Mm. Oh, look at that hardware. It's equestrian. This is really cool. All right, I'm going to take this to the mirror. Okay, so this is the size of the bag that I usually wear. So, um, it wouldn't be for me, although I used to wear this size all the time. Uh, oh no, that's good. That's a good quality purse. Oh, $50, but look at the hardware. I mean, you know, their prices are really good here. So I feel like if they put 50 on it, yeah, this is a forever. Um, stay tuned to the end to find out if I got it or not. What else is back here? Yeah, my eyes are adjusting. I'm seeing a whole lot of other cute things. What kind of perfume is that? See the eel skin. That black bag that looks like um, Vera Wang. Where is the other one? Right over there. Wait, where's my finger? There's my finger right there. That's Vera Wang. What else is up here? I'm like in the old cameras. Okay, look at this. I turned around and I spotted this eye dye. This is, I've never seen it in this kind of color combination. That's beautiful. Look at that. What else is back here? Did I do I need to look at these more? Oh, you know what? I need to go to the other section. Oh, that's vintage. Oh, it's so it's very fragile silk. It's about to get uh, a little bit of. It's going to start to shatter. See that? That's on the verge of shattering. It's a shame. It's beautiful. What else is up here? Red door. Wow. 
Yeah, they got they got some stuff with some. Oh, this is good. This will protect your. I know it won't. It's pre-protection RFD block. This is vintage. You know, a few times you go out, right? It's better just to have a nicely made vintage than a crappy new evening bag that you throw away afterwards. In my opinion, my opinion only. Okay. Oh. Yeah, like this is someone's wedding bag. So this is now also something old. There are much better ones than this. So um, polyester crepe. This is a pretty color. That's a linen. This is super. This reminds me of the one I got when I found all those scarves, but the, I'm keeping and it's hot pink. Uh, this one's more like just a classic pink. Polyester, 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 rayon. No. That's that street scarf. Okay, this one's vintage, but I don't like it. I don't. This is a Dooney. It's pretty worn. That's a cute thing. Ooh, hello. What are you? <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> oh wow, this is cute. I don't know if it's leather. This might be new or they're not doing... Is it possible that Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren stopped doing leather? That's crazy. I'm going to check it. I'm going to check it on the inside. This is leather. Cute pebbled leather. Look at these little dangles. It says leather new. So there's a tag. Oh, yeah. Very elaborate. Very nonny. That's pretty awesome. Very cute. Not going to get it. It's not neutral enough. Not leather. Not leather, not leather. Oh, there's some vintage here. Etienne Agner. Oh, yeah. This is just like 1970s burgundy. Oxblood. Ooh, look at this. This is awesome. This is in really nice shape. The quilting is still puffy. This is snakeskin. This is authentic snakeskin. The strap comes off. This is like new. Okay, this is a score. It says Italy. I love the neutral colors. This is really, really nice. It reminds me of old Charles Jordan. And it's a, oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to get that. This is cool. That's um, 1970s leather. No. What's this? This is leather. I like the closure. It's a little bit beat up. So we'll say no. What does that say? What does that say? Right, hold on. Okay, so all good things come to an end. <laughs> uh, I can't do new Ralph Lauren anymore, I suppose. Maybe there's different labels, and this is a, a new, um, like, fusion label that I'm not familiar with. In any case, it is China. It is not leather. It's not even bonded leather. And this is a giveaway. When you open up purses and the back is not leather, like that one that she showed me that was 50, the inside was suede. You could see it. When they cover it up like this, it means it's plastic, you know? Um, sometimes they line it in leather too, and that's different. A leather lining is the mark of a very high end, but at least raw suede at the very least. So that's a no, but this is a yes. Okay, let's see what else is here. Let's start up there. No. Nicholas, nothing special. I like this hat. 
and sneak my way over there. Oh, that's nice. This is nice, the big link. Very worn now. And then this one. Nothing special. Typical like thrift store fair. Okay, this is where I was going. This is cute. Yeah. Okay. So I'm walking I'm walking back and somehow because this was hanging so low I didn't see it. This is leather. This is a nice old chain. I think we might have a score here. The inside is nice. See, it's just a leather on the inside. Hey, I like this a lot. Oh, oh, L.J. Simone, New York. This is a score. This is a beautiful old bag, classic camera bag shape. Really nice heavy chain on that with leather. This is a forever. I'm going to show it to you in the mirror. Okay, so this is a restroom, and it used to have a hook right here. They took it off, so hopefully no one's going to come out of the restroom with my bags on the door. But see how everyday beautiful this is? And this is an evening bag. This is really cute. This I might keep. I might sell. Um, it's just a really good one. The embossed leather. Nice tassel. It's so good. It's just so good. They are saying $13. Totally worth it for this vintage. This is really pretty. Good, good, good. I just want you to see how cute this is. Look, look how, I mean, seriously, that is seriously, seriously cute. I love it. And I love the quilting, the padded quilting on the inside. Oh my gosh. Really, really cute. So cute. And look at it with the scarf. Look how adorable. Look how great those look together. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. That has a nice thick looking shine on it. And it's quite heavy. That's wonderful. This is a wonderful vase. I think I'm going to Google it. Yeah, I'll Google that. They're called folded glass or handkerchief vases. And they can get pretty pricey. And the one that looked like this one without clicking on it was called the Duncan and Miller. And it was $30 to $45. So I'm going to get it. So just I'm using this now. I'm going to show you how I use this. This, great, this I did look up. Okay, this Lodo saddlebag with the equestrian hardware. They sell similar new for $100 to this style. And on Poshmark, um, I saw something better for 61 so I can't pay 50 for this, even though it's lovely. And see, there's the suede. That's what I was talking about. That's a tell for quality. All right. These are a yes. These are good pearls that you can wear or use. It's just on a stretchy thing. And then this really fooled me. I thought maybe silver. See the detail there at the end? It's like little mill grain work. Really nice construction. There's even some thing that looks like it could say something under there so this is what I wear when I thrift and sure enough it's uh so that's gonna happen even if it's sterling because of the spring but this is slightly magnetic just ever so so that's a no so these are beautiful chicos right but not into it not into buying both separate this is eight dollars so and it's a little too cheap it's a little too cheap even though it's lovely this i thought had possibility as someone's art glass and sterling it's not and i don't like the color mix enough to get it this is a definite this is 1980s fantastic crafty arty you know fabulousness and it's like a two for it because this comes off and you can use it on a scarf so that's four dollars um, so that's a yes so far that's the only yes these are a no this is a no i thought it might be glass it's very light plastic i thought these might be gemstone they are not 
Oh, and then these, I love they're not signed, but I know they're Swarovski. They're beautiful. So that's a yes. And then these are a no. So out of all of these things today, this one's mine. This is it. These three pieces, those three. I got caught in the rain. This is why I came to Trinity because I didn't want to drive for the hour and back over to the other thrift store that I usually go to. So I came to Trinity, but I came to Trinity, but I did good because I got this. This is a lily and I didn't know it, notice it, but it has the, um, the pink ribbon for, uh, uh, cancer, right? And then it also has a Ford tag. Well, it's dated 2005. And it has a Ford tag. So pretty interesting there. Uh, limited, right? And But the reason I got it was because it was cute. I liked the pink mums. I like lily patterns. You know, I like silk lily patterns. So stay with me. There'll be a proper haul of all the jewelry and the bags. Loving this so much. Um, that'll be at the end. Right now we're heading over to Michelle's. We're going to visit her collection. And also I did buy a few things from her. I got some great loose sight. She's the woman who had the fake estate sale, the big jewelry designer who had that vintage stash of uh, jewelry that was her source closet and also what she made. So we're heading over there now. Stay with me and then I'll see you for the haul at the end, including this stuff and the stuff I got from her. <laughs> So, um, at the jewelry designer's place, and there's a bunch of lucite here. Oh, this is cool. It's, you, you just really have to take a moment to let everything sink in because it's just all fabulous. Okay, there's this. My eye immediately went to this group of things, like this cute scalloped lucite tray. And then there's some display stuff down here, which is pretty fantastic. Oh, the books. Masterpieces of modern art. All right. Oh, look at the lucite wheelbarrow. And then this. Oh, this is lying here. I don't know how much jewelry she still has. This is the lid to a lucite box. That's interesting. The lady with the flower head. Um, that is 1900. And this I'm considering. This is a beautiful sort of, it's a lucite bowl. I like the shape of the base. And I can also use it as a display stand. So I'll probably get this. It has 35 on it. Um, and then this is beautiful, 575, totally worth it. The copper table, that's from that hotel in Soho or something. Agate, oh, nice. oh look at that. The Chanel with the uh, pearls in it. Oh my God, look at that. This is still, okay. I love this. And then this is what I was making my way to. This is a table of Murano. You're gonna get to meet Michelle, everybody. Not today. You get to hear her voice today. And then see below below the waist. Yeah. <laughs> this is magnificent. Oh, I should have a... No, I don't need a mic. See, here's the, uh, the stickers. This is such a collection, Michelle. Did you do this over time? No. I love the pink lamp. Oh yeah, That's you know so nice. Somebody had just bought one of them. I love. Uh, no, I supply to dealers and designers and stores and that stuff. So I just do things in volume. Yeah, that makes sense. But those all came out of a factory where they're importing. Third generation was importing from Italy. Yeah. Those are all pieces of lamps. Really? Lamp oh, so these are lamp parts. I, so I, it looks like go. candy. It looks like uh, Murano see, candy. That's why I thought that's, I thought it was candy. Like. 
Yeah. It's joyful. And the colors. You could die. You could die from the color. And then this. Oh, yeah. That is decommissioned out of the Bergen Museum of Art. Um, there's speculation that that was... Um, <laughs> this one on the left is this guy. Both of these are made out of ticker tape. Oh. Tape, right? And so yeah. they... Um, she, um, she's probably waiting for someone. He's the person you don't want to see. He's the tax man. Oh, I was thinking Undertaker. <laughs> well, Similar. I in front of a mirror originally because I think... And he was looking at himself, which made him look bigger. Oh, that's awesome. So who is who is this probable, maybe? Uh, this would be... Ouch. Because it's something where I feel like... Uh, it's referenced as Keith Herring's work, but I haven't validated it. Yeah. And I need to get you the need, a little bit more before yeah. I go into the museum. Yeah. But it's a stellar piece. It's stellar. There's layers of intelligence under there. Yeah. You can see it's been painted several times. Yeah. It wow. requires a big space, but it commands a big space. Yes. So it's of interest for several reasons. Okay. All right, and then in this corner, so I started with the, just everyone, I started with the loose site and it's a probable Keith Herring that is commanding space. <laughs> and my myopic eye was like, oh, glitter tray with butterflies, <laughs> which is great, you know, but something to learn. There is a, there is a lesson here. There's definitely a lesson here. Oh, here's all the... I have this book. Oh, a Jansen book. Oh, that's Maison Jansen. Yeah. Uh, and then The Great Lady, Dictionary of Design. Diana Vreeland, of course. Uh, Salamander. Oh, this is... Uh, what is this? Oh, Mueller. I should get some of those books. I didn't get the books that I had last time. And I feel like if they're still here, I will find them. I did not even bring a checkbook. This is attracting me. The Cartier Collection Jewelry. This looks like an excellent reference volume. Let's have a look at that. Untie this pretty ribbon. And linen bound. Here we are. The Cartier Collection. This is an excellent reference. Oh yeah. This is a grand book. And it is something I most likely could really um, use um, when identifying um, old, uh, what was it, Trafari that did the Cartier designs, you know, but otherwise not most useful to me. I'm not going to be dealing in Cartier and it probably costs... This book is expensive. It smells delicious. <laughs> all right, and then up here we have all these frames. Pretty assortment of lamps. All right. This video is probably going to be less edited than usual and more raw, but I think it's a very special circumstance and um, okay. Crocodile skin, some kind of art, crystal, peacock here, white feathers. Oh, I think this is taxidermied. Beautiful piece of glass here. That's 
wonderful. Then we have a pair of these. A pair of these. I love the little the little things she's put on that is so humorous. Oh, this is awesome. This is a it is after um I want to say Bustamente, but I'm not sure. And then look at this, the little Tiffany and Company. Look how delightful. All right. Little hidden treasures everywhere. Oh, Fabergé with some very nice ribbon. Another one of these. That's a third one. Oh, there's some rings here. I don't think these are anything too special. And then some amazing quartz. Oh, I like this torso. You know? I want this. I like this a lot. I don't know what it is. Oh, parts. It's a part. This is, look. And then on this, it's sort of like you can get lost in the importance of things because it's because of the way everything's grouped. He's excellent. I'm going to ask about this. So I'm going to put it with my, uh, my loose bowl. And I guess I'll find my way. Uh, Laura's here too. I think she's already in the jewelry room. So I will find my way. Oh, let's go in the kitchen first. Okay. I like this mobile a lot. There are butterflies. And then we have this. Collection of silver plate. A horoscope thing. Oh, look at that. That is so many tiers. That's one, two, three, four, five tiers. Oh, the bow hook is pretty. See the bow hook under there? Oh, here's another one of these. Okay. All right. This is, this is look at this, a wasp's nest with some gold leafing. The jar book is still here. I will find it. Oh, it's still here. Oh my gosh. I feel lucky. Look at that. Okay. Tiffany's, my mile, my time at Tiffany's. reference books. They're so important. Hotels, restaurants, and shops. New York. Well, hello. You can be on video, right? You don't mind. You're used to it now. <laughs> this room is fabulous. Oh, yeah, that's what I saw originally with the purses in them, right? Yeah, so Those are good for photography. It's good so for great, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but, and then this is available. All right, so I guess I am, I didn't think I was going to be buying jewelry today, but it seems like every day is a day to buy jewelry now. <laughs> these are awesome. Are these, uh, this is a broken one. So the others are gone. Remember that whole thing? Yes. Yeah. This is cool. Oh, belt buckles. Blingard. Blingard. Bling dots. Oh, okay. These are nice, Laura. You should look at these. Oh, look. There's parts. These are clasps and stuff. 
This is nice, mother of pearl. Here's a great clasp for you, all ready to go. And these little things. I'm not seeing anything super extraordinary right in this box. I like the lucite. Mm -hmm. I like these things. So all these watches. Oh, look at all the rings. More rings. Wow, I've been on like a ring lucky break thing lately. Look at all these rings. That's an interesting mystic. I'll look at that, find out how much that is. I don't know, the prices here might be, might be too, it's different now. It's like, this is nice. I like this one actually a lot. I think those are amethyst or garnet. I like this one a lot. Looks like blue topaz and sort of a deco thing. All right, I'll find out how much these are and then I'll go through because it doesn't make much sense. There's so many other things. That's nice, sand dollar, sterling. Okay. This is useful. Oh, are you gonna be mad at me if I'm the one who takes the torque? You could really use it. Oh, no, yeah, okay. okay, all right. Oh, do you know how much they are? Did she price them? No, okay, all right. Uh, this fascinates me. I do like this. All right, I'm gonna price on those guys, those two. JK, just kidding, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, tiger eye horse on leather. These are like made in, oh, that's nice. That's old. Looks like it could be Hollycraft or something. Um. Oh, there were earrings I saw that I wanted to check. Oh, here, here they are. These are good. See how nice these are? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll check on these. Those are great. Uh, the fun, the weird, <laughs> oh, it's not weird. I thought it was a ring. It's just a, the pin. Rhodochrosite heart. That's kind of nice. Um, sure. yeah. <laughs> Good call. This might be oh, what you're missing. Oh, yes. This is what I need. Are there more? No. That's just one? Just one. This is exactly what I'm looking for. This came Oops. out. The brace, I bought a bracelet from you that was missing one of these. So, thank you, Laura. If there's more, I'll get more, because sometimes they're not exact. Mm -hmm. So you need a button, bro. Yeah. Try the bottom of that bag. All right. Yeah. yeah, free floaters. Instead of, you know how they make pearls by just inserting one piece of sand that's round? Yeah. So they insert a square, a metal square, and the animal builds it Is that around from? the square. Oh, oh I see oh, the square. You it's, can, a, it's a pearl. But it makes a geometric shape in the top. You see, yeah. I see the squares, well, the squares under the nacre. Yeah. So normally in a farm, they'll drop a piece of sand right. in there and mm -hmm. it makes a circle. Mm -hmm. They drop, it like it's like a metal cube, and that's how it builds around there. That's but it's just cool. kind of funky. Are they drilled or do they need to no, be drilled? They need to be drilled. Oh. But they're matched, but you, drilling them is not hard. Mm. So do you know it's not funky? I'm sure. Sugalite, mother of pearl. Um, pretty locket, very pretty locket. Oh, I like this. This is an RLM. Oh wait, what does it say? Does it say something else? For Gail? Okay, let me double check. Oh, I need my loop. Is it yet another room? All right. Here we are. 
you, you are a badass. Okay, save your brain. There you have it. Elephant and giraffe. Um, this is wonderful. It's, oh, this is the top of a table. That's Hollywood Regency. That's wonderful. I'm going to try and refrain from saying this is this and this is that because, um, oh, there's more of these. These are like molds. Oh, that's awesome. That's, a, that's awesome. Okay. All right. Okay. And you know what? This video, like I said, it's probably not going to be edited the way that normal, the way that I usually, that's marble, the way that I, that's lamp parts, the way that I usually edit things. Those are upholstery tacks. Um, oh, and then look at all these bits and things in here. How fascinating is this? Doll parts, I believe now that I'm looking at it, or what doll parts are molded from, perhaps. So what I was going to say was, I'm going to try and refrain from um, saying this is this and this is that, because it's just sort of discovery today. It's just eye candy. It's just looking. This is, you know, things to come. Right. Uh, lots of purses. Emma's. And then the books. More books. Oh, look at all these. These are leather samples. Beautiful. Okay. We'll come back around. Oh, the long Chanel is gone. There was a long Chanel here. All right. All right. Because part of it is going to sell there, and part of it can be me and bring them right. Who's going to be at the long? Here we are. Here's the long Chanel. There it is. Isn't this fun? Look at how fun this is, everyone. Oh, look at this beautiful. Uh, I'm loving this. I don't have the staff it takes to take care of this fabric. This is gorgeous. No, look at it. Oh, I see that. Oh, That's, I know. It's beautiful. Yeah. Schumacher is what it looks like. Okay. Uh, did, and look at the baubles on the end of it. But I just love... Hello, the hello, thing. Hello. A, hello. Hi. Want you anything good? Oh. <laughs> oh, I am this. I own this very best. <laughs> That's great. Really? Yeah. Well, look at it. It's it's uh, it's utilitarian, but it's silver. Where are you? See? You've seen me in this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Starting with what I got at Michelle's. This bowl is probably astrolytes. These are highly valuable. This is really beautiful. There's some other jewelry in here too that you didn't see me get there that I will show you. Um, this is so amazing. These go for really high value, high dollar. I don't think that's changing and I don't see myself selling it anytime soon, just so you know. These are vintage 1950s. They are so cute. They're in perfect condition. They're kind of rare. They do have the little dangles. They're called selenite, uh, or sometimes they're called fluorite, which is incorrect, but I have seen it. And these will be coming up for auction. I do auctions every week, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. You can text me, 917-809-7250. Just text Hello Dawn, and you will get free alerts when I go live with an auction or a sale or a pop-up on Wednesdays and Fridays. And if you're a reseller, you should also do it because then you can actually see what these things go for the actual hammer prices. I got these and I absolutely love them. This gold one is um, like a spinner. You see that with a coin, so cool. And then 
the heart and the torque I got separately. But I just, I loved the pattern, like the kind of matrix, the black matrix. I just thought this one came out really good. I've seen things like this before, but I really like this one. And they look like they were meant to go together. Maybe I put them back together. I don't know, but it's a great torque. Um, when they're round like this, that's like the one that you want when they lay flat and they're round. I also got these. Look at, look, look at these. These are all one of a kind. Okay, so the first one, this is, um, I think this is a MoMA pin. It is signed. I can't remember right now. This is big. Here it is. It's a pin that was made into a necklace. So you can be really creative when you wear things like this. And these are giant chunks of smoky topaz. So this is quite the score love this this is one of kind this is artist made same goes for this this is graduated amethyst different colors really beautiful this is crystal it looks like it would change color but it doesn't i checked it but it's so lovely there it is up close beautiful color there like a violet a true violet the amethyst is exceptional this is what these look like together. Isn't that lovely? This is the um, giant citrine chunks, Biwa pearls, faceted citrine, beautiful, uh, also freshwater pearls in there, all hand wired, sterling, unsterling, uh, really high end. And I just like the way it looked with the smoky, so I threw that on there too. <laughs> Starting a little collection of these. Look how cute these are. I love them. They're so pretty in the light. These are wonderful. These you can find, and I recommend picking them up whenever you see them. I really like this combination with the pink in the middle and the bracelet. I also got the bracelet. These are natural freshwater pearls in a pretty silver gray. This is so cute. I hope you can see how bright that color really is. And this is like new. This is from Thailand. Really a nice one. See the wooden handle? And if you look on the inside, it's all padded in silk. That's quilted padded silk. How nice is that? This is a gorgeous clutch. Also doubles as a laptop cover. It does go really well with this, um, this scarf. This scarf is lovely. It's just like a summer weight uh, tissue cotton. Look at them together. I know I showed it in the video, but I just wanna do it again. See how pretty that is. I did notice Another signature on this. I know it's reversed for you, but I think it says Emin Belts Italian Saddle Leather. And to me, that's like, looks like um, maybe Alaskan or Native American. Uh, and they unscrew. This is really well made. Um, it is Italian sizing 40. So um, I couldn't resist this. A good belt is a good belt. And they don't make them like this anymore. Also, I got this pretty thing. I hope you can see the colors up close. This is a really pretty, pretty silk, all kind of hand dyed. The uh, Lily Pulitzer sort of collab with the big pink mums. Love that. That's a silk charmeuse. This, this is the last piece of jewelry I got at the thrift store. Isn't this fantastic? This is a total 2-4. Look at the space there. This is probably mid-70s to mid-80s, and it's probably out of Brazil. This, oh, you can really see how beautiful it is. Look at that. You can really see it in this light. This was coming up as Duncan and Miller. They were calling it folded glass or handkerchief uh, glass. It is really mid-century, sort of on the modern side. I'm not feeling any marks. I will continue to research it. This is lovely. Also picked up a little teapot holder for 25 cents. <laughs> the little sleeping babies. One is in a crib and one is in a rocker. And um, I just, I know there's so many of you that will want this and would have been upset if I didn't get them. So I got them and they're in these little brass, um, they're, they're actually brass, so really cute, really, really cute. <laughs> and staying in the really cute department, I could not resist this. Look, it's got the little thing here. It's Is it dollhouse furniture? I don't know, it's metal. It's supposed to look like white wicker. 
it actually has the little swing for the bird and the door actually opens. So if I found the right little bird, I could put it in there and this little hook does come off. Um, this is kind of well made and I could not, could not resist it. I also got the peacock chair. I saw this one first and this, whenever I see things like this, I always think I could put a ring on it or some earrings or something. It's, they're really good for jewelry display. Um, and I have kind of a soft spot in my heart for the peacock chairs. I own some from 1971. So there you go. Got that also. These were three dollars. Oops. These were three dollars each. Okay, best for last. Look at this. This is vintage 1980s. This is really good leather, Italian leather, leather on the inside, jewelry quality chain, and you can wear it as a crossbody. This was meant to be forever. It is definitely forever. And this will be coming up for auction as well. Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern. This will be in my next auction. So make sure you're subscribed or you text me 917-809-7250. Text Hello Dawn and you'll get the alert when I go live with a sale or an auction or a pop-up and I don't spam you. It is my real phone number. And then finally, this is so cute. This is Cobra. This is snakeskin. It's a neutral, right? Natural coloring with the gray leather gray leather lining, right? Circa 1980s. The strap is snaps, so it does come off. This is also a forever bag. It's a really, really cute shape, and this is coming up as well. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.